Yo, what's happening, new friendos, ooh froggos, and ooh frogettes? Troy here with Tropical Garage, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about something that's pretty important. I've got a couple requests to talk about it before, and a couple things led up to why now is the perfect time to talk about it. Um, so, we're going to be talking about vitamins. Are they important for your poison dart frogs? The answer is 100% yes. Did I say 100? I meant 100% yes. Um, they're extremely important for poison dart frogs. As you guys know, most of the hobby, the majority of the hobby is feeding them flightless fruit flies, and those just simply aren't enough. You need some sort of calcium supplement, uh, vitamin A supplement, carotenoid supplement those are all very good things for your dart frogs um so the majority of all of us are using them and um today i'm going to be talking about a product i've been using for a couple years um well a company i say i should say um a product that i was using for a couple years and i've recently switched all of my supplements over to that company and um so far, I mean, it's 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 just, I'm so impressed with it. So I figured I might as well talk to you guys about that um, in this video. It's not gonna be the most exciting video. I know you guys like more of the videos of frogs or tanks or stuff of that nature. So I apologize for that. But um, ultimately this is a very important video and I hope that a lot of people do see this that may not use vitamins or supplements or are currently on the fence with the one they're currently using and maybe you should think about switching over to the one that I'm doing as well. Um, so, um, first, let's get into it. It's a product you guys have heard me mention before on the channel. Um, the brand or the company's name is Renarium. Um, and the product that I've been using for a few years now is the Renarium carotenoid plus um now i've used carotenoids for almost 10 years i started in i think 2010 or 11 so it's either nine or ten years um now i was using the naturos um which i got from a seahorse supply place now if you guys aren't familiar with um carotenoids some people call them carotenoids i say carotenoids i'm from ohio so i don't know if that's the way we would say it um, so they are used basically to retain, uh, certain deep oranges or reds, uh, the coloration in frogs that they would have in, in the actual, um, their habitat. And then when they come into captivity, for some reason, a lot of those dark red frogs or even light red frogs, they fade to like a pale orange. Um, so it's... You know, some people think it's linked to um, ultraviolet, the UVB, and then um, some people think there's something in the diet. But this definitely helps retain that color. Um, it won't get the full color back. Like, say you have a red frog and it loses and it goes to pale orange and you start feeding this thinking it's going to come back and be as red as it ever was. That's not the case. But it will transfer through to lots of the uh, offspring. Like in my Salerte and Bastamenos, for example, um, their oranges can be, and a lot of their offspring come out cherry red, um, and it's because I'm using this. Um, or Naturos does the same thing, but the reason why I like this better is why I'm going to get into, or, or pretty much tell you here in a few minutes. But um, So it does help with color enhancing. Um, it uh, uses the astaxanthin is the way you say it, um, and this is a 2%. That's what everyone seems to use is 2%. Astaxanthin. Um, that's the color enhancer itself. So, um, with the Naturos, to my knowledge, all it is is just the color enhancer. I don't know the other things that are in it. I'm sure it has other stuff that, that help um, with the frog. So, um, I want to tell you why I think this product is special, and um, I'll tell you about my experiences with it the past two years, um, as opposed to the Naturose or Super Pig, that's where Pashi uses the Super Pig. So I'll talk about the differences between the two um, and why I think this product is superior to it. Um, so not only does this product have, you know, just your color enhancing capabilities, 
Uh, it also has 13% protein in it, um, which is excellent for dart frogs. Um, this helps boost their immune system, the frog's immune systems, um, which if, if you're not familiar with the frog's immune system, um, basically a frog can be, you know, there can be parasites in your tank for years. And the frog's immune systems are usually strong enough to fight them off. But the second that immune system drops, um, usually stress causes that immune system to drop. Um, you know, a big temperature change, um, moving frog to a different tank, adding another frog, um, stuff like that. Um, causes that immune system to plummet and then those parasites can wreak havoc on that frog and make it really turn upside down quick. Um, so it's important for your frogs to have a strong, healthy immune system, which this helps immensely. Um, also, something, I, I don't exactly know why, I'm sure if you talk to the owner of Renarium, um, who, his name's Damien, um, he could probably uh, answer it for you better than I could. I don't claim to be... Uh, very bright or smart on anything really, but especially not vitamins. I don't know a whole lot about them. Um, but I know issues from vitamin deficiencies, so I know it is an extremely important thing to use the proper vitamins. Um, I just don't know exactly why this one does this or why that one does that. Um, okay, I don't claim to be uh, a genius, but um, so something about this product, every time I, it, Especially with my large obligates, you know, Pamilio, Sylvatica, Histrionica, Lamani. Um, every time I use this product, which I use it once to twice a month, even if the frogs, so say it's a Monday and the frogs lay a clutch on that Monday. And then I feed this on, feed flies with this on Tuesday. Um, I usually have eggs Wednesday or Thursday. I know they, like, they, it's like they can't help themselves. They have to lay another clutch of eggs within 48 to 72 hours, I would say, um, is safe. Now, that's saying that these frogs are already, you know, it's already male and a female, they're already laying eggs. Um, don't just think you're gonna get some six month old frog, feed this to the flies, and they're just gonna have eggs magically. Um, that's silly thinking. But um, yeah, this, it's every time, I and mean, it never fails, it's like, I feed with this and the frogs can't help themselves. They have to lay eggs. It's just like something they have to do. So, um, yeah, really great product for me the past two years. Um, I was so happy with it that recently um, I thought about switching over my calcium um, supplement and then also my vitamin A supplement, which prior to Renarium, I was using uh, the Rapashi product, Calcium Plus and um, Rapashi Vitamin A. Now, which I've had no issues with either, either product. Um, they both work great um, as far as the health of my frogs, healthy offspring, healthy tadpoles, good eggs, all that stuff. Everything was working the way it should. And some people say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sure. Um, but me with this hobby, um, I do like to try new stuff every once in a while or see if there's something better out there or a better way of doing something than I'm currently doing it. Um, I'm always looking for things and thinking about, you know, bouncing, bouncing ideas off the wall and stuff like that. Um, but, so, I reached out to Damien and said, hey man, I'm thinking about switching over all my vitamins to Renarium. Um, you know, is there any reason I should? Or is there any reason that, what, what sets your stuff apart from um, Rapashi? blah, 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 and, you know, basically he's just saying that Rapashi uses fillers, they, they, they're known to use fillers, and he doesn't, like, trash Rapashi, Rapashi, he just said, you know, um, you know, they, they seem to be a, a, a fine product, but, um, you know, I know they use fillers and some additives and stuff where everything I use is natural, um, there, there is no actual additives to any of his product, it's all natural stuff, um, vitamins and everything, and the way it's measured, I guess, is on a, a better scale, basically, to, to know exactly what you're giving your frogs. Um, so I said, okay, cool. Let's try it out, man. So happy with this product. Let's try your other ones. See if I'm happy with those two. Um, so the other two I'm talking about are Renarium uh, Ranavit, and this is the calcium supplement. And um, so 
I've only been using these these two products, the Rana A and the Calcium, the Rana Vit, um, for about six to eight weeks. I can't remember exactly when I got it. I'd say about six weeks ago is when I got it. Um, so I can't really tell you that I've noticed a change in my animals because that's way too short of a time period to actually do that. Um, so here's what I'll tell you I have noticed. Um, in the Ranavit, the calcium product, in comparison to my Rapashi Calcium Plus, this is, th this is uh, three ounces, this is three ounces. Um, I even did a test, I, an old Calcium Plus container. I emptied it out, rinsed it out, dried it, and then put Ranavit in, and I you know, put the label on, because um, I wanted to test something. Um, like test the basically the consistency of it the density how fine the powder was um, and what i can say is when i shake the calcium plus into the cup a lot of powder comes out like a good a, a really good amount of powder comes out dust the flies in it shake them around you know shake and bake and then um you feed them out to the frogs and after i'm done i'm left with a whole bunch of powder in the bottom of the cup um wasting a lot of powder because i don't reuse that powder the next day um i don't want the you know i feel like the the freshness the intensity of that calcium i live by a busy road there's literally like, what that motorcycle sounded like thunder um <laughs> maybe it's probably a good idea to do a video with the doors closed but sorry guys it's a nice day um i can enjoy the garage door open so it's open um, so what I can tell you is a lot of wasted powder with this. Uh, I don't reuse the powder the next day. I only use it the day I feed. I dump the, the leftover, the waste, I dump it in the trash. Next day, new shake. Um, with this, the Ranavit, um, like so, it, it's, the powder is finer. Is that a word? is more fine than the Calcium Plus, um, but it's like denser, if that makes sense. Uh, almost like it would be like like wet, but it's not. Um, only like a fraction of the amount of powder comes out. And, I, and so that's why I put it in this, because I wanted it to have the exact shake top. Um, you know, these have the same exact diameter in the holes. I'll show you, they're the same exact tops, okay. Um, a fraction of the powder comes out of this that would come out of the calcium plus. And I, like the first time I did, I was like, did anything come out? I was like, I think something came out. Wiggled the flies around. Sure enough, they were all completely coated. Like they looked like little snowmen. Okay, they were completely coated in the in the ran of it. Um, I fed out to the frogs and there was like no waste. There was like nothing in the cup. I was like, well, this is great. I didn't really waste anything. And this is, I guess, a little more expensive than the Rapashi. So I was like, okay, cool. I didn't really waste anything. Good. Um, so that's what I, the one thing I noticed there is that, you know, there's going to be a lot less waste. Um, so with how much I waste of this, I'm buying it probably every two months is what I, I'd say. Every two and a half, three months, I was buying this. I replace all my vitamins at six months anyhow. This, I'm guessing, is probably going to get me close to that five to six month marker before I need a new one because of the, the less amount of waste. Like, it's shocking how much waste I have in this Calcium Plus and how quick I go through them. Um, so for price, I think it's about eight or nine bucks for this. I think these are around 15. Um, don't, I, I don't remember. I just buy it and I, I don't really pay attention to it. Um, so, you know... I guess I'm buying two and a half of these for every one of these is what I would guess. So I'm, gonna, I'm spending about $27 on this every six months. Where this, I should be spending about 15 So it's exp more expensive up front, but the, the less amount of waste um, and the coverage of the flies is worth it, in my opinion. Speaking of coverage of flies, that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, with this vitamin, the Calcium Plus, when I dust the, um, the flies, feed them out, Say I, have, say I still have like 100 or 150 flies left over in the cup. I set the cup down, go get lunch, whatever I'm doing. I'm doing something. I come back an hour or two later, look in the cup. Some of the flies have crawled out because the dust fell off them and they were able to climb. Um, and then the other ones that are in there are very, 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 very lightly coated in the, in the dust. Um, 
you can reshake it, I guess, and um, feed them out again. But with, and so, didn't do it on purpose again, but I, then when I was feeding with this one day, I actually left the house for like six hours. Forgot I even had flies in the cup. Came back, sat on the desk, sat, sat at the desk here, looked in the cup, and I'm like, holy This is like six hours. I was expecting the flies to be gone or dead. Um, they were all still in there, and they were all coated. Like, they couldn't climb out. And I was like, this is crazy. So I immediately messaged Damien, like, hey, man, the, how is this? Is the powder, like, does it stick longer than the other stuff? And he's like, oh, yeah. He's like, that's one of my things. Like, that's one of my claims. Like, I claim that it can... Like, the dust will stick to the flies. He's trying to do, like, I think a time lapse or something. Um, the dust will stick to those flies. He's saying for 24 hours minimum, which is nuts to me. Um, now, you guys may, thinking, may be thinking, who, who cares? What's, what's, what's the big deal? Um, dust sticks to flies or it doesn't. Who cares? It's actually really important for certain species that aren't aggressive hunters. You know, the tinctorious, you're not going to really notice it. You sprinkle flies in there, they're flocking to those flies. Terabilis, you sprinkle flies in there, they're gathering around. And they're going on, it's a buffet. It's an all-out buffet. Now, some of your Pamilio, Ranitamea, Shire frogs, some of the Erotus, um, some large obligates that are Shire, uh, those are what I'm talking about. Some of them get really comfortable in a spot, and they don't go down to feed the flies. They wait till the flies crawl up to them and walk past their face, and they pick them up. You know, they're holding a healthy weight because they're eating, but they may not be getting the proper calcium and they may be calcium deficient. Um, and calcium deficiency is the lead cause to MBD, metabolic bone disease. Um, if they're not from froglet stage to adult, um, if they're not maintaining the proper calcium levels, their bones can start to get weak um, and they can be curved. Curved bones, short bones, they stand weird, weird postures, things like that. Meta metabolic bone disease is a big deal for these frogs and it can it can hinder the way they move um and i mean i've even seen like i got two tinctorious last year two metecho i got that had severe mbd which to me is saying that this guy someone's breeding frogs selling frogs doesn't even realize that they have really severe metabolic bone disease there's no way he's using calcium products um or calcium supplements there's no or there's no way that the frogs were getting the proper or or the calcium was expired, or, you know, it's three years old or something. I don't know. But, you know, that's another thing just j in frogs in general, just because they're, you know, I hear people say like, oh, I don't, I don't mess with that. My frogs are breeding. They're happy. They're fine. It's like, just because they're breeding doesn't mean they're fine. Doesn't mean they're healthy. Um, you can put, I mean, take the, frogs don't breed because they're healthy. They, they breed because they, they just, it's, it's in their nature. If you put two, a male and a female tinctorious in a glass box with paper towel and a petri dish and a coconut hut and you feed them and you missed it, you'll probably get eggs. Um, they just, they're not the hardest things to breed. So that's something that's important that people need to understand. Just because your frogs are breeding doesn't mean they're happy and they're healthy. Um, bone structure and the way they move and their activity, those are things that you look at as far as, as I look at, as far as health. Um, their alertness. Things like that. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, I got tinctorious that had metabolic bone disease. Sorry for that little that little detour there we went on. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredibly important for their bones and their, their actual growth and their movement. Um, another thing that calcium is really important for um, in some of the Ufaga species that are, pro, that are known or it can happen if they're under extreme stress levels that they can seize, they can have a seizure. Um, so calcium deficiency is one of the links to that. If, if the frog is low in calcium, um, they're known to go into seizures and there are a couple products out there that can help with that. If, if it, like it's, if it's too late and it already happens, you know, there's like a rescue cal, um, there's calcium, calcium, uh, gluconate, um, ringer solution. It's basically like a calcium bath. Like there's things that can help that. Um, but to try and avoid that altogether because that seizure is is pretty uh pretty pretty detrimental for that frog so it can be a a problem um so so yeah it's it's very important for both of those things um everybody should be using calcium on a daily basis or not daily but 
every feeding. Every time you feed your frogs, you should be giving them some sort of calcium, um, regardless of what you want to use. I'm telling you that I am super impressed with this Ranavit. I'm done with Rapashi Calcium Plus. Um, doesn't mean you have to be, but I personally am. So um, I'm just going to go over the label with you guys real quick. Uh, this is the Renarium Ranavit. It is a multivitamin for amphibians. The net weight is three ounces. The ingredients per kilogram are calcium carbonate, vitamin A, 500,000 IU, vitamin D, 100,000 IU, vitamin E, 10,000 IU, maca root powder, 6,000 milligrams, bee pollen, 4,000 milligrams, egg white powder, 5,000 milligrams, spirulina, 250 milligrams, and turmeric, 150 milligrams. Those are the all the ingredients in here. There's no additives. There's no... Not, I mean, it, everything is natural in here, okay? Um, Ranavit is a complete ultra-fine multivitamin for amphibians formulated to prevent metabolic bone disease. This product also includes some top superfoods uh, to help create a healthy immune system for your pets. Again, like I was talking about those immune systems. Directions. We recommend Ranavit be used in every feeding. Um, use the shake and bake method to lightly dust prey items before feeding. A little pinch goes a long way. That's an understatement. Like I said, the first time I used it, I didn't even know like any powder came out. Um, and they were, comp it's like, it's, it's, it's amazing. Night and day difference from the Calcium Plus to this, um, the amount of waste, like I said. Um, so those two products, I love them. Those were enough for me to say, you know what? The only other vitamin I'm really using is vitamin A from Rapashi. I might as well switch over and try yours out. Um, now, I'll say, guys, it's only been about six, six to eight weeks. Like I say, I've only fed this once. Um, I'm not going to notice any difference in my animals at this point. There's just no way for me to. Um, I may not notice any difference in my animals at all from the Rapashi products to this. I may not notice anything. I was rearing, like, probably 85 to 90% healthy offspring for my Ufaga. So... May, unless it goes to 100%, which that'd be awesome and amazing, but I don't think that would be the case. You're still going to have some that come out runty um, or that have issues. It's just, it's part of being a new fog breeder. Um, so this is the Renarium Rana A. Um, like I said, I can't tell you any differences in the frogs itself or how the powder, I, I don't know. Um, but I'm just going to read you guys the label. Um, if you guys are thinking about switching over like I did, um, you might as well pick this up too because... I'm sure just based on the carotenoid plus, it's better than any carotenoid supplement I've ever used. Um, so far this calcium, I'm more impressed with it than any other calcium product I've used. So I'm guessing it's gonna be similar with this. Um, so this is the Renarium Rana A, concentrated vitamin A for amphibians. The net weight is two ounces. The ingredients per kilogram, calcium carbonate, vitamin A, three million IU, vitamin D, 100,000 IU, vitamin E, 10,000 IU, maca root powder, 6,000 milligrams, bee pollen, 4,000 milligrams, egg white powder, 5,000 milligrams, spirulina, 250 milligrams, turmeric, 150 milligrams. So the last four or five there are the same as the calcium. So um, something, I'm guessing those are the uh, immune boosters. Um, Rana A is a super vitamin, sorry. So... Rana A is, <laughs> there's a typo in here. I'm going to make fun of Damien. It says, Rana A is, is a super high A vitamin supplement to help prevent hypovitaminosis A. Um, in your amphibians, please follow directions. So like I said, these labels are old. These are just what I have. He has updated his, his vitamins. So hopefully his new ones don't have typos in it. Um, but uh, yeah, directions. Rana A should be given to your pets only every three to four weeks, so about once a month. Um, Overusage will cause vitamin A toxicity. Use a small pinch with the shake and bake method to lightly cover prey items before feeding to your pets. Simple as that. Once a month, use this. Um, where's the other ones? Here we go. Every feeding, use that. Once to twice a month, use this. Um, so I know I've told you all these great things about Renarium. 
um, that I like, that I'm impressed with, that I think are awesome. Besides having typos and old labels um, that have a lot of words that I don't know what they mean. Let me tell you what I don't like about it. Um, there's only one thing. It's the bags. It's, there's dust. It's dust. It gets everywhere. And this is empty. You know why? Because I don't use the bags. I immediately open them up and I put them into shakes. You can use older Pashi bottles if you want, um, but I had some other vitamins prior to this and um, I was trying out. I still have some other ones. I don't, I have other vitamins, like I have Dendro Care. I have a couple other ones. I just don't ever use them. Um, these are my like powerhouse vitamins I use. So these little shake bottles um, I get from Mike Rizzo at Glassbox Tropicals. I've mentioned him a million times on my page. I get a lot of my products from him. He sponsored one video for me and now people are like saying like, oh, this is just a ploy, you know, this is just a plug for, it's like, no, I buy, I spend a ton of money with Glassbox Tropicals. I buy a lot of stuff from him, like a ton. These I buy from him. Um, these are where the springtail food comes in. And so the holes are a lot bigger on this. So you don't have to, you can be a lot lighter with the shaking. You don't have to do the rapashi like, you can just open and kind of just dust some in. It's so much neater than the bags and the spoon and closing the bag. So much more convenient. This is my solution to his bags. Um, I hate the bags. Um, I also hate any supplement where it's got a twist lid. That the stuff gets everywhere. It's all over your desk or whatever table you're using. Looks like you were having a crazy party the night before. Your friends come over like, dude, what are you getting into out here by yourself? I'm like, man, come on. It's frog, it's frog vitamin stuff. I ain't hitting the cocaine, boy. Um, so, this is my Rana Vit, my Rana A, and my Carol Plus. As you can see, how much are in these two, and then how much is in this one. This one's getting used a lot more frequently. That's the Rana Vit. Um, that's the only thing I don't like, guys, is, is the bags. Everything else I'm super impressed with. Um, I know they just redid their website too, and I reached out to Damien and told him I was gonna be doing a video on vitamins. Asked him, you know, if there's any like key points that I should talk about for your for your product. Um, he said, no man, just just be straight up. Tell me, tell him what you think. Um, I mean, you've told me you like it, so tell him what you think. Um, so he did say to me that he would do a, a coupon code on his website um, for all my viewers or anyone who watched my videos um, till July. I think it's till July. Um, anyone who wants this product, wants to switch over to, if you want to just try Carotenoid Plus, you want to try Renarium A, you want to try Ranavit, um, there's 10% off coupon code, uh, Histroionica, but Histroionica is the, is the coupon code, like my Instagram, it's H-I-S-T-R-O-Y-O-N-I-C-A, Histroionica, um, that's the coupon code, you get 10% off on anything on the site, um, and then also, he said any, cause he already has some discounts on the site right now. So anything thing that's maybe 10% off now, it's an additional 10%. So you get 20% off certain things. Like I think his bundle where you get these three, um, these three vitamins, you get 20% off. So um, I'd go over and use that if I were you guys. Uh, I don't need any vitamins, so I'm not gonna use it, but I may still use just to have backup. Cause it, I mean, hey, 20% off. But um, so that was really cool of him to do that. Um, like I said, this isn't a sponsored video by him whatsoever. Um, this is just based on my own personal experiences with these vitamins and um, thought I'd share it with you guys because I do get questions on vitamins every once in a while, what I'm using, the regimen I'm using, which like I said, I don't have an actual regimen like written down uh, on, a, on a board or anything and I go, oh, today's Tuesday, we're getting this. It's like, nah, I mean, I'll, I'll just be like, ah, I think it's been about two, three weeks since I fed vitamin A or uh, Renair, the uh, carotenoid plus feeding today. Um, so... Yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something. And I hope that maybe I encourage you guys to look at your uh, your vitamins and supplement game and possibly step it up a bit because um, it is extremely important for these frogs. And that's ultimately what we're all here for is the health of these frogs. And um, besides making really cool tanks and having really cool plants, um, the health of the frogs is ultimately what's most important for us unless some of you guys are out there just trying to make money which 
that ain't me. Um, or I'd breed on a much more massive scale and I wouldn't have these large tanks. I'd have 500, 10 gallon tanks in here just breed the crap out of everything. But that ain't me. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned some stuff. And until the next video, um, what else do I have to say? Goldberg, out.